In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Colorlab AI Creator in conjunction with Final Cut Pro. How to set it up, how to grade, and how to send back the results without any rendering and utilize amazing CL Engine and Colorlab color metadata. So inside the Final Cut, go ahead and inside your event, create a project like I did this one. You know, again, I'm going to use the same sequence that I used in Premiere just to show you how it works exactly the same way. So I have my cut, I have my edit here. As you can tell, everything is in log um, and needs color management. Make sure that there is no LUT supplied internally using any Final Cut color management. So it should be like a just clip without any LUTs or anything else applied to it. Okay. So the next thing then you want to do is you want to grab your project, right? And then you switch to Color Lab and you just drop it so that you can see that there should be this little plus icon visible, right? And then when you drop it like this, it will move all of your clips, all of your timeline inside Color Lab Creator. Alternatively, you can always go the XML route. You can say here file and then import uh, from Final Cut Pro XML. This is also another option. All right. So the first thing that we do is we're going to go and select all the clips and color manage. In my case, I'm going to select the camera that I used, which is Arilog C. So all the clips now are showing on my timeline inside the Rec 709 color space. OK, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, for example, and select this particular reference. Maybe I want all of this sequence to look a little bit cooler, not so warm, right? And I'm going to go and say, hey, match all. Again, I'm taking advantage of beautiful M1 neural engines inside the processors. I'm not uploading, downloading anything. Everything's happening on your computer and it's running actually really, really fast. So once I have got all of the match, I'm going to go and check my results. A little bit more to go because it's the whole sequence and it has to analyze every clip in the sequence and balance them all so they have some level of consistency. Okay, and here are the results. And as you can tell, it did actually a pretty good job, you know, from something pretty dark, you know, and like a cold, you see, I have a, like actually pretty good match. Everything is matching tonally. It's all nice and cold, which is what I wanted. The, the tonality, the exposure, the contrast, the saturation, everything's looking really good. I have a consistent sequence that's actually feeling very much similar to how my source has felt. OK, so next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here to push to Final Cut Pro. Again, no rendering, no exporting, no relinking. You just basically click here onto your um, library that you're going to use. You say choose this one. And now this is going to open a new project and you just double click on that project. And instantly you're going to get everything perfectly matching onto your time and then you can play back instantly. There is no rendering because this engine, what happens, it applies a little plugin called CL Engine plugin onto your timeline and now you're able to basically go and see exactly everything the way it looks. You have everything fully graded. You know, this is certainly the fastest way how to get your sequences to match, how to quickly color grade without any uploading and downloading. And what's fantastic news is that anybody who has a CL Engine plugin that's free is going to be able to play back your sequence, which opens the door for collaboration and so on. So hope you like this. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, feel free to look at some more tutorials available on this channel and stay tuned and subscribe to more interesting tips and tricks how to use AI in your color grading process.